Aloha guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here for a minute, then you probably have an idea on what this video is all about. So let's just jump right into it. I do have prolactinoma, which is a B9 tumor located in the pituitary gland, which is like somewhere at the base of the brain. It is not life-threatening. It's more of, I don't even know how to explain it, but some of the side effects that it has is vision difficulties and infertility, which is like the main one, the main issue that people struggle with when they have this. So if you're interested at all, here's my little backstory to this and everything leading up to this video. I have always been irregular on my periods in 2011 around that year i was maybe 17 years old maybe junior year in high school i stopped having my menstrual cycle for good i went years without having it and at that time i didn't really care much about it just because i was young and i sort of saw it as a convenience to not getting pregnant also this is not what it may look like i burnt my neck curling my hair a couple of days ago and it actually still hurts to this day whenever i touch it lightly anyways i then moved in with my husband five years later and he was the one who pushed me into getting seen so i was finally treated for it and it turns out that i have prolactinoma immediately i was put on medication which is cabergoline and i will leave that down below just because i feel like that's always like the main question on what medication i was taking after taking that i got my first period after five years and all was good a year later i got pregnant um unfortunately i had a miscarriage <laughs> Wow. i then immediately got into calvergoline again just to get the process going again to try and get rid of that tumor we then moved to germany and not gonna lie things were a bit unclear over there just because it was a little bit difficult to get seen plus the german doctors it was a bit hard but to my understanding everything was good the tumor had almost shrunk to nothing and maybe that's why they didn't see it because again they had mentioned that they didn't see anything that if it wasn't for the notes that they would have never known that i have prolactinoma which that's what made things super unclear because i still wanted to take that medication because i felt like without it i would not be able to get pregnant and but for them it was more like oh that's your decision if you want to jump back into that medication because from our books you don't have anything and you don't need it so it was more of a mind decision and i went ahead and still asked for it i started taking it again i did end up getting pregnant in germany and i now have a two-year-old baby girl and then we left germany and i ran out of my medication a month after leaving we are now in hawaii and i thought it would be a lot easier to get seen here i thought it would be a lot faster for me to get the medication but it wasn't which you're going to see later on in this video which is literally all about the last year of where i've been trying to get you guys an update because it's literally been an entire year from that moment that i ran out of my medication leaving germany and till now so felt like i definitely need to document this um and i also just noticed this i literally just left the house to make it to my clinic but i didn't realize it was this close so i got here in like three minutes and i have 15 minutes to spare so i thought i would just jump on here and document this because this is a process we are going through this um and it just doesn't stop let me just cover this really quick actually i'm gonna throw some water in there so i can clean it up because i know i'm gonna forget to cover it inside and i don't want them to be like what are you wearing but i think that was naya i mean it's definitely naya i just can't remember what was it that she had in her hands anyway so off topic um i am about to go in for a checkup for the first time ever here in hawaii it's been over a year since my last mri i ran out of my medication it is i have to say the date on my phone it is may 
May 19th. It is May 19th. I stopped taking my medication this past December, which was like five months ago, four or five months ago. So initially I thought maybe I don't need that medication anymore and I can continue getting my menstrual cycle. However, I haven't. It's going on three months already since my last menstrual cycle. So I officially realized that I need that medication to get it. Um, so definitely something's not right here. And a lot of you guys always ask me for updates. I get messages on my Instagram. Um, letting you know that you guys are going through this which it makes me feel better and i hope i comfort you guys in a way knowing that you're not alone and that there's so many of us i'm at the clinic i'm about to go get checked up this is the initial part to getting seen with an endocrinologist so first i gotta go here let them know what's going on get referrals to go see a endo and from the endo we're gonna go get an mri so this is just the first step of this update I'm on my phone camera, so there's nothing I can do about it, but, um, second part of, I think I'm in the wrong parking lot, but second part of my prolactinoma update here in Hawaii, I'm about to go get my first MRI here in, I want to say it's been over a year. Officially leaving Tripler, got my MRI done. I legit fell asleep. I woke up to my head twitching, not like crazy twitching, but I noticed it twitch because that's what woke me up. And so that set me back a good three minutes. <laughs> it was kind of embarrassing because the guy was definitely like, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to go back and repeat this process again. But all I'm done with that, it does take two days to get the results back. And then I have to contact my provider and most likely see an endocrinologist. Look at this view. Getting here, I was like basically going on a hike. So gorgeous. Oh. All right, Starbucks time. Is this not the prettiest hospital ever? And the view is chef's kisses. Although, I did give birth in Germany with the castle out the window. That looked pretty interesting. I don't know why I'm being so emotional right now, but I finally started my period. After three weeks of taking the medication already, I was doing updates. I'm not even gonna add those clips to this video because they were really nothing. It was just me coming on and saying day one, day four, week two. After week two, I stopped doing the updates just because I was honestly starting to feel sad. I was starting to believe that my period was never gonna come again. I don't know why and every single time that i felt a little something i would rush to the bathroom right away and i would honestly be disappointed when it wasn't that um and i finally got it today and i literally started crying i'm just so happy so um so it is april and i started taking the medication last month march 13th i want to say so it has been just about three weeks and I'm, I'm just i'm so excited for some reason like this just gives me this just obviously i've said it before you guys know that i will i don't know i'm i'm feeling so emotional i haven't been able to say 100 percent that i want a second child and that is because i've been scared but come here mama mommy just got my blood drawn for the third time. So here's where we're at. We are 
healthy ish we still have plans to get it's not an mri it's like the the heart one the doctor just wants to make sure that because i've obviously been taking cabergoline for i mean i started in maybe like 2017 it's been years already so they just want to make sure that it's not affecting anything in my heart i didn't know that taking cabergoline had effects in the long run i don't remember hearing this like i feel like the first doctor who ever told me about cabergoline he was like you can take it for the rest of your life basically so that is a little bit concerning i feel like i'm fine um but obviously we're gonna go get that done just to make sure but overall i feel like we're at a good spot where i can give you guys officially an update and that i am healthy i am back on cabergoline i've been taking it for four weeks already i've had one period it did take me i don't remember now but i feel like it took me three weeks to get my period which i was really scared that i wasn't gonna get it but then again they did give me a smaller dosage this time they gave me 0.25 mg and before i was at 0.50 and then before that i was at 1 mg so i am definitely taking like a smaller dosage it's like 25 percent of what i was taking in the beginning so i'm thinking that's the reason why it took me that long to get my period but i'm happy that i officially have it and let's go home so i can give you guys the rest of this update obviously we're back on track now i am officially on my second menstrual cycle since getting back on the medication the tumor is still there but it is almost non-existing so that's where we're at right now you guys saw in the clip where i was feeling very emotional after getting my first menstrual cycle back after one year i was going through it you guys to me that was very very much emotional because it was it just meant so much it just meant that i can have another baby again and it's mad it's wild it's a crazy big deal and i was just feeling very much thankful at that moment but i am ending the video right here i hope this was a good update to where i'm at right now and what's been going on thank you guys for being here i appreciate it see you guys soon